good morning from the ASCOM booth. Um, today I'm joined by ASCOM CEO Holger Cordes. Holger, how are you doing today? I'm very well. How are you, Julie? Great, I'm doing well. So um, I know you have a presentation this afternoon at 1 p.m. at PIMS, um, and the title is Bridging the Paper Chasm. Um, can you just uh, tell our viewers a little bit about what you mean when you say bridging the paper chasm and yes. what they can expect? Yes. First of all, let me, let me say it's, it's great to be back here again. I mean, PIMS is every year is one of the major and most exciting healthcare ICT events uh, in the world. Um, and it's, I, I think this, is, this feels like better than usual. Um, it's, it's a great event and I'm, I'm really looking forward to sort of step on stage and, and talk a little bit about how we think and what we're thinking about. I mean, we, we choose the term bridging the paper chasm. It's a little bit, it's a little edgy. Um, we, we sometimes we also say we, the last piece to the puzzle to really digitalize to really digitalize um, healthcare, in, especially in the clinical space, is to, to bridge the gap on the last mile to the patient. It's like we have a lot of intelligence and knowledge and, and um, information technology, especially in this country, but around the world, that's already in place. But in order to really make it effective for the workflow, for the care process, for the patient, there is a significant lever that we can free up still by digitalizing communication processes, information processes around the point of care. And that's that's really what I want to talk about and talk a little bit about what does that really mean? Give some concrete examples, some real life examples. What does it mean if we differentiate, if, if, we, if we want to render communication more effective, more efficient? What does it mean if we separate between synchronous and asynchronous communication, if we separate between telephone calls and messaging. What does it mean to orchestrate workforce better, um, to organize better who is doing what in what event? How could that bring a lot better lever to clinical decision support where we have sort of flex and alerts going off how we can then drive better compliance with what needs to happen now and faster, more efficient, more effective. And last not least, we, we want to talk a little bit about our project experiences as well because technology implementation, technology deployment always is an element of change management. You need to do things a little bit different than before. And I want to talk about our experiences on what does it need, what does it take in order to render such projects, so such change management projects, more effective and more successful? Well, fantastic. Is there anything else you'd like to share with viewers today? Um, yeah, I mean, enjoy the, the hymns, um, enjoy all the innovation that, that's around here. I mean, it's, it's almost vibrating with that innovation, of course, especially here on our booth. But I, I, I feel like this, this is, there is so much momentum in the air. Um, yeah, enjoy and, and, and benefit from it. It's, it's great. All right, fantastic. Well, just as a reminder, um, Holger's presentation is taking place at 1 p.m. in room 204A. Uh, so we certainly encourage everyone to, to come out to that presentation. And Holger, thank you so much for your time. Today. Thank you, Julie.